Hello. This week we are drawing Klaus Kinski, a German actor, some type of actor uh, from a different country. Now what I'm going to be doing is uh, hopefully taking you step by step what I do here. Uh, what, I, what you see me drawing now is um, like a small sketch. I usually draw um, like a quick sketch on a little notepad just to kind of help me get the proportions and if for some reason I'm able to exaggerate a lot more uh, using a small notepad and then I'll move on to a bigger page once I get a, a good little few shapes on that little note card um, so what you see me here doing now is basically just drawing uh, basic shapes kinda exaggerating the features and what I see uh, sticking out sometimes I'll delete uh, some features like I'll take out a nose or I'll take out a chin or, a, or different things just to make room for the exaggerations that I want to um, expound on or make larger in um, kind of like a push and pull thing so if I'm going to exaggerate in some features well um, some other features are going to move with it or I'm going to have to delete some features that really don't matter <coughs> as you can see here I'm trying to uh, a few things has happened. Well, I'm having a problem drawing the nose. Um, I think that's the third nose I've kind of drawn. I do a lot of erasing at this point. This, these are just quick sketches on 11 by 14 scratch paper that I have. Uh, just kind of get a feel um, of of the person and the, and their features. Uh, he he looks real sad. So right now I'm drawing his eyes kind of slanted and. Um, angry looking with the eyebrows and everything um, so whatever features kinda stand out to me is what I kinda exaggerate on if, if a feature looks real small um, I'll either take it out or uh, draw it even smaller if features are big I'll make them bigger and exaggerate now I wasn't too happy with that first sketch so I'm, now I'm doing it over real quick um, and sometimes I do this um, I do the caricature of a caricature. So basically, I take my caricature sketch and I I exaggerate that. So I, I take that and um, I start over again. And right now, I'm basically looking at the pictures. I got three pictures on my computer. I got a video going of the guy. And so right now, I'm looking at the caricature that you just saw me finish. Uh, and I'm also I'm basically exaggerating. Um, from what I already drew. Uh, does that make sense? So basically I'm drawing right now a caricature of my caricature. I'm taking my caricature and just kind of exaggerating on it. Let's see, uh, I want to take a little quick break and look at the, what I'm, that's what I'm looking at right now. It's, it's a profile and then I've got a, a, a full face and then I have the video. On YouTube I usually uh, type in the celebrity, uh, type in their name and then I right after I, I type in the word interview and that's what came up that video there and uh, I like to watch interviews I like to watch interviews of the celebrities uh, because they turn their head a lot they're in their natural state and I'm, I'm able to see their features in different angles all at, uh, on one video without flipping through 50 different pictures I can just uh, look at one video and it shows all their different features <coughs> excuse me uh, what, what's going on here is now I'm gonna trace it uh, on a canvas. So this, I have a really large canvas that I picked up at the art supply maybe three years ago or so. And it's maybe 40 feet long, so I just cut pieces of it. This is an 11 by 14 canvas uh, sheet of paper. Um, it's it's pretty thick, but not, not thick enough, not too thick for me not to uh, trace. So I'm able to trace. But as, as you can see there, I changed up the eyes. So I, I, I'm really not tracing exactly what I drew. I'm kind of changing it up as I go, um, so I'm kind of just going real quick, just sketching everything out with a pencil onto this canvas, and it's gonna, it feels kind of rough because uh, it has that texture in it. Uh, so what I'm doing is just kind of sketching it out real quick, quick lines here. <coughs> now I'm gonna be painting all, over all this, so um, I, I tend to just kind of just just be loose with everything. Uh, I'm sketching out some shadows just to kind of remind me so I don't have to go back to my reference page. Um, I still have my reference caricature on the right, on the left side. Uh, just to kind of refer back to now I'm just putting some paint onto my little palette there. Um, we use 
we use a lot of wipes at our house for our kids when we're changing diapers. So that 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 sheet there or that um that plastic thing you see me holding with the paint, that that's from like uh, wipes. That's actually from uh, some just those wet napkin things that we use. And uh, it's pretty convenient because if I have to go take a break or go somewhere, all I do is close that up and the paint stays pretty wet. It doesn't dry up on me because uh, acrylics can do that. So I'm using acrylics right now. I'm just kind of doing some basic uh, painting and just, just painting all the different shades in there. Um, I usually go back after I do all this real quick uh, painting, I, I go back and do all the details. Sometimes uh, at this stage, uh, I very rarely, but sometimes I'll I'll do a, a piece of a you know a, a lip or a nose or a different feature, and it comes out just the way I want it. So I'll, I won't go back. But most of the time, ninety percent of the time, this has just kind of helped me um, as a first stage, kind of doing all the all the black spots, grays, grays and whites, just just real loose, nothing nothing too detailed, <coughs> and I'm just laying it all down if anything it's really just to kind of motivate me a little bit uh, this stage uh, just to kind of see where I'm at and uh, see where, where I'm going to be adding the details and not um, so I'm just kind of doing all the acrylics right now and I have to do it kind of fast because acrylic usually dries it dries real quick uh, at this stage as you can tell my my battery um, I'm using an iPhone 3, no, iPhone 4, and for some reason I had it on airplane mode and it just um, it just went out. I just didn't notice that it, it stopped recording for some reason, but it just stopped recording. So I'm, I'm back now. Um, I just added a bunch of detail uh, in the forehead. It's basically what you missed. <coughs> now I'm just painting the, the background and... Uh, different things now uh, as you can tell I've, I've kind of changed up my sketch and I'll do that as I'm painting I kind of change up um, a lot of the things I like the right eye there uh, the bags underneath and I kind of changed them up a little bit um, but basically even as I'm painting I'm still thinking about exaggerating because um, in the in the shadowing and the shading and even in the color and when I'm doing a color one you can still exaggerate on the textures, you can exaggerate on the highlights, um, you can exaggerate on the color. So if, if, if for example, they have red eyes, uh, I, I would, I would bl make them bloodshot, add some hot pink in it or something just to kind of exaggerate. So you don't, we don't just ex exaggerate on the, the lines or the features, we also exaggerate on the colors as well and the highlights. Um, as you can see how I'm making the eyes, eyeballs, the, uh, making them a little bit bigger. Um, it just kind of exaggerates them a little bit more by making them uh, darker and more rounder, a little bit larger. So basically it's just one large pupil inside the eye. <coughs> so now I'm just uh, painting in all the details in, in the lips. Um, I wish I could go a little slower on the video, but I don't. The, it only lets me upload about 15 minutes on YouTube right now. So... Um, what, what are we doing now? We are painting, uh, basically some highlights, uh, in a little bit, I'm going to be, um, painting the eyebrows. Um, I start off by doing the eyebrows. I start by doing all the little lines, um, uh, of the hair. And then I notice about 30 minutes into it that it's, it's, it's distracting from the eyes and his lips and all the other features. So, um, you'll see me first draw tons of little hairs and then I'll go back and just paint right over it and just make it more of a, a gray or blackish blur um, and sometimes that that's necessary not because when you're looking at a, a, a painting uh, you, you don't want everything to be the main feature you you want to have a few main features that you want the eye to gravitate to but you and, and then there are some areas you don't really want uh, the the viewer to uh, stay focused on for like the eyebrows that I'll be about to be doing um, I, I with all the little hairs that I was drawing it just drew too much attention it was too many too many details in it so I just kind of blurred it out and you'll see that in a little bit <coughs> uh, 
Now the forehead, it just came out, it just came that way. I, looks kind of alien right now, uh, but he has a really large forehead, um, and that was basically the shape that I saw when I was looking at his profile. When I saw him move, I just saw this blockish, roundish thing uh, right above his eyebrow, which is his forehead. So as you can see, you see all the little hairs in the eyebrows, it, all the cross hatching and everything. It just I just really didn't like it. Um, it just it brought more attention to those, and his eyebrows aren't that um, profound. They're not so you know. So there I am blurring it out. I'm going right over it, uh, so that, so that you know it doesn't draw too much attention, so that the focus stays on the eyes. And a little bit, I'll be drawing some highlights in the eyes. I'm darkening them right now. <coughs> Um, and sometimes that's necessary to um, the blurring out of different features so that way uh, you can focus on the other features so uh, I'm adding some white on the outside and um, what else am I doing there I'm kind of blur as you can see I'm kind of blurring out the side of his face just a little bit um, in the reference picture you see there that that side of the face is just a little darker so I'm, I'm gonna kind of darken the forehead, darken the side of the uh, face on that side. I'm going to darken it out a little bit because that's the reference page or, or picture. That's what it does. Now, I, when I'm painting, I'm just focusing really on that one picture that you see in the video. I'm focusing on that picture, um, on, on where the shadows are at, and, and if, if I've changed like that nose, I've, I've totally just changed it. But he does kind of have a pointy nose, um, so I still kind of have to incorporate and think hard on how where the shadows should go now because they've changed. Like the lips have changed, the eyes have changed, so you got to kind of think about where the uh, shadows are going to be going. Um, a good idea is to kind of sculpt everything out. If you're a sculptor, you'd sculpt it, and then you would kind of put a light onto it and kind of see where the shadows fall. But it, um, after you've done this for some time, you're able to, you know, figure out where 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 the light hits and what 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 the facial features do when when certain lights hits it at certain different different angles. Um, I've been doing caricatures for maybe about 13 years. I started off at a theme park, and that's where I kind of learned, um, you know, where the features are, how how they're placed, how the light hits them. How, how they look at night or in the day. Um, so after, after a while, you kind of get used to drawing, um, you know, features in different lighting. So if you change a feature, you can, you kind of already kind of would know or, or remember how it looks. Um, so right now at this point, I'm drawing all the different details now. Um, I've got the basic uh, coloring that I need, that I desired there. So when, now I'm, I'm going back and I got my really thin brush, and I've only used about three different brushes, um, and I've got the the smallest one that I have. I've had it for quite some time. That brush, maybe maybe five years, four years, and I, I do I use watercolor with it, acrylic. Um, so right now I'm adding all the little black lines with a real thin brush. Um, I added the little white highlights in the eyes. Uh, you can't see too much of it, but right now I'm doing the neck. I didn't show up in the camera, so I'm just kind of doing the neck. And I had a problem with the ears. I didn't, I didn't, when I exaggerated on them, and I kind of threw them out. If you look at the reference picture, he has some huge ears. They kind of go out to the side like like an elephant's ear. And when I did that in my on my page, maybe it was during the painting, uh, it made it look like those were his jaws, and I just didn't want his jaws to come out that much. Um, so I kind of brought them really really low um, so right now I'm just adding all the whites in the in the paint and on, on the background all the little, little different details and the hair the hair strands and all the different things so um, we're almost finished here so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it took me about four hours three hours um, maybe five or so but about four hours it showed about three hours on the video but it was about four so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll leave the link here so you can go to the contest on the Facebook page.